So you found your favorite champs and learned the art of battle. But there's more than one way to play Legends of Rune Terror and different skills you can master. Like building a deck from scratch and crafting your strategy on the fly. Can you navigate the unknown, adapting to new cards and new foes, and still come out victorious? Together, friends, we go together! In the Expeditions mode, you draft a deck as you go, overcoming as many opponents as you can with an evolving set of cards. The farther you journey, the greater the challenge. But when you're on an expedition, it's not over till it's over. Unlike other modes, in Expeditions, you don't use any of the cards from your collection. Instead, you build a deck as you go with a series of picks and trades. Every pick offers a different, random combination of champions, units, and spells. The cards in each pick are bundled together based on deck archetypes. You might select Disruption to add stuns and recalls to your arsenal, or Scrap Heap for ways to cycle through your cards in search of the perfect play. No, it's here somewhere. There are over 20 archetypes to pick from, but over time, you'll create a strategy that's entirely your own. You start by choosing a couple of champions. As you continue drafting your deck, you'll alternate between two types of picks, Synergy and Wild. Synergy picks are based on the archetypes you chose previously. The cards in each pick are random, but they're sure to work well with what you've drafted so far. I knew we had it all along. On the other hand, wild picks offer archetypes that may be totally different from what you've selected before. You might pick up a great option for enhancing what you already have. Over here. Or change course after encountering an unexpected gem. You'll go no farther. You can even combine cards from three regions of Rune Terra for a deck that can only be created on an expedition. No matter what you choose during your initial draft, you're guaranteed to come across more cards to support your strategy. But you'll never know which ones you'll find. The draft doesn't end when the matches begin. After each match, you get another chance to upgrade your deck including additional champion picks to fill out your roster with more heavy hitters. But it's the trade picks where your deck building skill can really shine. Trade what you have for what you need, refining your strategy with every swap. You can smooth out your mana curve, pick up some much needed spell support, or double down with multiple tried and true cards, even breaking the normal limit of three copies. Firing! You'll continue to evolve and improve your deck all the way to the final match. Your trial continues until you either win seven matches or lose two consecutive ones. Even if you fumble a match, one victory is all it takes to get you back in the game. And if you're skilled enough to reach six wins, you'll enter sudden death. The next match decides it all. Will you get the coveted seventh win or end your trial right then and there? If your first trial doesn't work out the way you want, don't worry. Every expedition consists of two trials, and the better performance determines your reward. That means you have an extra chance to make it to seven wins or a free pass to try a completely wild strategy. After you've completed both trials or retired early, it's time to collect your winnings. The rewards can be bountiful, and the more you win, the better they'll be. No matter how you do, you'll always receive at least one champion. But win enough matches, and your rewards can fully fund your next expedition as well. You can embark on three new expeditions each week using shards, coins, or expedition tokens. After completing these, diehard explorers who seek adventure purely for the experience can continue their trials in open play. Whether it's your first time drafting a deck, what could have been? or a glorious return to the seven win expedition, show them what we're made of. There are always more strategies to explore and another chance to claim victory. Pick your path, adapt your deck, and see how far you can go.